wait, wait a minute. <laughs> that was a pretty bad deja vu here. A time controlling, trash throwing kitty cat. That's my persona. And also this game. Hmm. What? What are you expecting? Blank's the Time Sweeper, one of the hardest games I've ever played. You're whining about Dank Souls 3? You have no idea how much pent up rage that this game gave me as a kid, which led to cynical adulthood, which makes me yell at anyone who talks to me! So you be the judge of what is more impacting. <laughs> and following the theme of Xbox exclusive games, I decided to do one on this dude! How many times have you seen a cat being the good guy? This is really cute! Look at him! Look at him! <laughs> I just fucking love cats! I love cats. I love every kind of cat. A game designed to be Microsoft mascot before Halo came out and blew the medium what a game was. Made by another tin company called Artoon. You see, children, it's like cartoon, but a play on words. Because of the word art is heavily influenced in the word, it's art. More like fartoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in this game, you're a part of a dimension where really fucking cute cats control time and all dimensions. They speak a really weird Asian slash German sounding some language. Then the pigs from Angry Birds come along and fuck shit up and steal all the time jewels from all the dimensions. And Dr. Eggman's mutated outcast known as Big Dick Pig is all like, Hey, I like shiny You know that old chestnut. These guys look really fucking horrifying. You like people but with pig faces. Oh, I get it. Because as humans, we are empowering that we are taking over the environment. And it's only a matter of time before we as humans turn into pig face demons. Preachy! And then since the time jewels are gone, the control of time is corrupted and they turn into Sesame Street characters from Croc. And they just jump around, which wasn't part of Big Dick Pig's plan. That's a fucking mouth word. 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 Big Dick. Big Dick Pig. Big, I didn't, Blanks gets a boner of the Princess Peach that's captured here. And he has to follow his strong, throbbing, erect cat tail. All the other cats are scaredy cats, run away, but Blanks was a little like, Yo man, I gotta go get me some poo from a real human instead of a normal cat like in everyone else. This game supports BCLE furries, I think. Yeah, that would make sense. This bitch is the most cliche looking and probably the most ugliest thing in this whole fucking game, which is hilarious because we're supposed to be saving this thing. It's disgusting. Also, what's her hair up to? So here we are in the game, finally after that weird plot summary. If you collect three time jewels, you can control time! Which is honestly the coolest thing and the main mechanic about this game. And these monsters that look like a child art project's fever dream come to life can be taken out by trash you vacuum up. That's a two birds, one stone in the environment charts. Blinks makes these little step sounds. It's, it's, it's like little taps running. <laughs> and he makes these weird cute noises when he was like falling and walking around and gets hurt and stuff. It's This game's so fucking cute! <laughs> it's adorable! This game honestly looks like it could have came out last year. It looks really fucking nice. The animations of the ears down to the glowing big fuck me eyes that Blinks has Especially that this came out in 2002! The fuck? This game's 10 years old. I'm old. You're old. Around me are familiar faces. Worn out. Let's look at how to control time! There's a remote. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> We got pause, which is like pausing the game, but you still get to do what the fuck you want. Slow mo, which is like when you're the only one at a party on cocaine and no one's on your level, so you get pissed out and take out the lamp for looking at you funny. You all got rewind, which rewinds your surroundings, but you stay in the future. And forward, which is like you're the only one not on cocaine and you're watching some dude take out a lamp. And then my fave record, which lets you do a thing and record it. Say if you needed someone to stand on the button and open the door, but their door was, say, closed every time you left the button, but there was only one of you. If you record yourself doing it, the recorded version of yourself can stand on the button while you go through the door. If only that was like real life and I would record myself playing Mario Kart and beat my recorded version of myself so I wouldn't lose. Yeah, or you could just play with friends. If I had any, that would be a great input, thanks. I'll see a calculator tonight then. After that remark, let's make it now. Uh, uh. 
Every enemy in this game has this unique weakness. And to pass the level, you've got to get rid of them all to be able to go through the time portal where the weirdly attractive shopkeeper slash nurse cat awaits. I'm not a furry. I'm not a furry. Okay, I'm not. You can sell shit you collect when you don't have enough of this shit and upgrade your shit so you can store more shit and this shit so you can fire these shits to get more of this shit so you can upgrade more shit. Well done. You've won the shit award. For most times, shit has said in the sentence. Oh my god, what did I win? It's a new car! Oh my god, thank you. I'd like to thank the Academy and my great uncle Pete for molesting me for only three times in my childhood. As for the enemies, you got these blobs that take anything from barrels, gears, fridges, soccer balls, giraffes, toasters with sentient frog legs, Ozzy Osbourne's Parkinson's, this Kermit guy that likes to eat anything you throw at him, so you just make him eat your bombs. Eat your bombs. And then these guys that are like wizards and summon trash at you. That's lame. Then you got these fat side mouth dudes that hide in the sand. Then these ghost dudes that are all like, You shall not back! If Gandalf was like a super kawaii candy crush character, then these guys that make like a big force field monsters, but if you get rid of the force field, they're like little babies. <laughs> Die! Then these giant snow golem things that are just big and slow like turtles cocks. And this guy whose purpose to live is to be on fire. This poor fucking guy, dude. All around me are familiar faces. <laughs> the bosses of this are so fucking ridiculously hard. You think this game's all cute and shit and stuff until you come across the later levels. The first one's like, yeah, cool, we got bosses in this game, so uh, here's one, and it's easy as dicks. Second one is like those dudes who eat anything, and it's like, okay. But this guy from Beetlejuice is a fucking tease in how to play this game. It's inventive, because you got to use the CONTROL TIME function to murder this washed away Tim Burton ALASKAN FORWARD! Then the next one is the wizard, but with two giant wizarding staffs. Whoa! Ah, also the floor moves, Christ! Then this ice dude goes all Sonic the Hedgehog. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got faces to go, gotta follow my rainbow. Then there's the second boss's mama bear who has a whole fucking universe in her mouth. Explain that one, Carl Sagan. And throws up barrels at you. It's like Sonic and Donkey Kong made out and then made this. The more you play, the more stressful the bosses get. Wait, you wish you just had nine people around the controller? Because you need a jump, run, dodge, shoot to just be able to stand up. These levels are so cool. They didn't even fuck up the water level. I'm yet to play a game where you can fly or swim and not want to fucking hang myself. So having something underwater and still knowing how to play the fucking game is a rejoiceful moment for me. Everything is amazingly crafted around the Control Time function. Like barrels go down and the barrels go up. The seesaw go down and the seesaw go up. The girlfriend go down and my bone will go up. My fave is the mine because you get to ride the mine cards around. It's fucking awesome. My least favorite is the fucking ice level. Don't go fast, you slip. Don't go slow, you slip. Don't slip, you slip. I've fallen and I can't get up. Why in every game is there just one level that fucks you up so much? We tried the game and you, we know you're having fun, but here's, here's just something to make you want to murder the next person you see. Yeah, thanks Mario64. I'll send you the court fees. And I swear this factory level is influenced by Banjoon Kazooie. It looks too similar not to be. These are one of these games you need to play through twice because your upgrades can get you into secret places and you can collect all the cat medals. What do the cat medals do? Oh man, it is like the best part of the game. After slaving through the whole game and saving dimensions, and the game rewards you with hilarious cutscenes of the pigs doing silly things. No, I'm not serious, you fucking idiot. I hate this so much. I want to get like a new outfit or a concept art and maybe like a bonus level or something. In regards, you do get that, but you have to like get at least 50,000 of these medals before they actually start giving you proper rewards. No, no, that's wrong. You know, like in every other game, wherever you collect a super rare thing, not these horrifying pigs doing a fucking pyramid. What the fuck is wrong with you, game? No, it's wrong! 
Oh, you get your firstborn child back if you get all of them. I can collect the ransom now, thanks. But hey, it looks alright, doesn't it? It looks pretty cute. I like it. It's pretty good. On the subject of concept art, though, I'm pretty sure Tim Burton did them all. It looks too similar not to be. And the final boss is horrid because they make you defeat the harder bosses again until you can get back to the final boss. These bosses aren't easy either. And by this point, you don't have much time thingy saved up either because you're just like, yeah, I should be fine. It's only one boss, right? Wrongo! Usually when this happens, there's like a small discount on damage that you have to do. You literally gotta basically replay the hardest parts of the game in one go. No downtime, just full frontal chaos. It's like Mario when you go through 50 castles to get to the last one to have to play the game in fucking hard mode to find Peach. Speaking of, there she is with a very slide up skirt. I'm gonna keep playing now. <laughs> so once we slave through all these fucking assholes to get to the final boss, he welcomes us by taking all our saved fucking time crystals. Mwah, thank you. Thank you. So much. This boss can control time like you, and then uses it against you. It's scary. The music sounds like a microwave is about to explode, and then there's so many fucking bombs everywhere. I would call it he multiplies. <laughs> Floor goes icy. Mm. Oh, and he teleports when you shoot at him. What? What? How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you do it? He's like Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls. He's, he's even got the fucking weird eye thing. What? You can't even use time controls on him. Just pray tell this bomb does him good. He did it. Yay, that was easy. What are you talking about? This game's really easy. <laughs> it's rated E for kids, obviously. I don't want to fucking murder anybody. Even right? if you could, yeah, this Nazi land is good. We would leave, but if we could. And there's the princess with the creepy human pigs running away for some reason. Eh. Then like a true gentleman, he awaits until she's awake to run away and commit suicide! <laughs> Planks the Time Sweeper. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, this is a really good game. A really, really good game. For what it is, no other game lets you control time in this many ways. You usually get to rewind or pause or any other singular control, but this one you get to do all of them! Using it to your advantage and creating levels based around events that are intuitive and useful in any ways around time control you choose to use. Everything looks really good apart from the uh... <sighs> the atmosphere is set up beautifully with the intro and lighting that's mixed up superbly with the environments. But the sheer difficulty is horrifying. You're like, oh look it's a game about a time trapping kitty cat cutie. But then you end up stabbing everyone to release the inner rage this game gives you. You die in the game and everyone else dies in real life. You think GTA causes violence in young hearts? No! It's games like this that disguise themselves as what appears to be a new contestant of Sonic and Mario and really it's just here to consume your soul! Yeah, it's hard if you didn't fucking understand that, alright? It's fucking difficult. I'm not the only one who says it too! Blinks is already one of the hardest games on the original Xbox. See? See? I don't just suck at games, I promise, okay? I don't. Fuck. Off. But yeah, all in all, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. It's cute, challenging, and totally stands up to the test of time. It's fucking amazing, it's a good game. Play it, play it, play it. Find it on eBay. There it is. Bye now. You're welcome. Anyway, thanks for watching. Click the like button if you like it, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you whenever. Toodles! We. And the poor says he is the master race. The higher, higher, right in the poorest face. Not to love the poor is a great.